So we have yin and yang, and the pivot of both of them is phi. Y is the phi. Why isn't the pivot of the yin ice cubes or cold water? Why is it fire? Why is fire moving everything? This is part of this relationship. The heaven, which is being yang, our life force that we have is all yang. And the yin energy is an issue. Why is it there? What is it doing? But it's a different they're very, very different than what we learned it today. That's why Zheng Qinghan said the most difficult is to understand yin and yang. Not, not easy at all. But that's why you can use these hot herbs, not always, but many times, for patients that have yin deficiency, which is here. So this patient with the hot flushes, this might have been yin deficiency that we call yin deficiency because the emperor fire is not working. And you use hot herbs to bring all the energy back into the Shao Yin, problem is gone. If you use Shu Di Huang and Liu Wei Di Huang kind of a solution, it's a catastrophe because it blocks the Yang energy. It distances you from this root. It blocks the connection. So if you read some articles in my research institute about Chen Xiu Yuan and Zheng Jinsong, famous uh, commentators from the Qing Dynasty, they say people use the Shu Di Huang, they don't know what they're doing. They're harming the people, they're killing the people. There's a bunch of articles I wrote about it. You can read what the sages said about it. Uh, but it's different than what we learned today. So many of the things we learned today are flat out wrong. But because it's hard for us to grasp many things, what became of Chinese medicine today is just a bunch of opinions. You have your opinion, I have my opinion. But it's not like this. If your opinion can be used, produce this kind of results, then the opinion is good. If it doesn't produce this kind of results, even if the normal results are mediocre, meaning you're with the average, <coughs> this is not good. That's not what we strive for. We strive for uh, excellence. Not say, hey, everybody do that. Everybody get the so-so results, meaning really strong hot flashes, you give your way Huang one, and it looks good, but after two days it comes back. And then, you know, for a week it's good, but then for two weeks it's really bad. And then we said, maybe, maybe not enough shu deep. No one produces this kind of two days, the hot flushes don't come back for a year. Or at least not the common practice. But this kind of fire saves work. They make it all the time. Like my kind of stories, small change compared to the stories I hear from my teachers and his teachers. So that's what, what I aspire for. I said, this is like miracles with Chinese medicine. Even though I'm not that good myself, that's where I want to go. It's not that I don't want to do it because everybody does it, doesn't work, then I feel good. It needs to be like Western medicine, in potency. People get heart attack, he's going to die in five minutes. Go on to the surgery table, alive. It. That's how Chinese medicine is supposed to be. But we need to study some other stuff, to study Chinese medicine. That's different. But yin deficiency, yang deficiency, the concept is warped today. So if there is real yin deficiency, then we can't use a lot of food. But what we conceive today as yin deficiency many times is yang deficiency. Of the Shao Yin, the emperor's fire is not right. What we call the dragon in the water has a problem. <coughs> so so the, the concept is different. But if it's yin deficiency, for example, in the Yang Ming section uh, of the Shang Chan Lun, well, you have Zhang Zhongqing use the Bai Hu Jia Ren Shen Tang, right? Cold herbs, because the fire is blazing. If you use food at this time, you kill the patient on the spot. You can't recognize it, because the fire is blazing. The yin has to be consumed. So he has to save the yin. That's why he used Bai Hu Tang. The cold herbs, Shigao and this Jimu, is to save the yin. This is like tonifying the yin method. But he said, you know, for example, with Cheng Chi Tang, Da Cheng Chi Tang, Xiao Cheng Chi Tang, right, with constipation, if the fire is blazing inside the intestine and you're really constipated in an acute phase, you purge the intestine, which will harm the yin, but will save the yin, meaning life will go on. And then he said, as soon as the bowel goes, you have to stop. Why does he say you have to stop purging? Why just keep on purging like people take to their oatmeal if they're constipated for the next few years? He understands that if the yang energy is being harmed, you harm this connection. 
Life is severed. <coughs> Life is harmed. That's not what Chinese medicine is supposed to do. But if fire is blazing and will dry out the yin, you have to knock it out first just to save the yin and then move to, into a different phase of the treatment. So we do have yin deficiency in Zheng Qinghan book. This is a true transmission of Chinese medicine principle. It has yin deficiency uh, part and yang deficiency part. It's just very different than what we consider today. Obviously, you can't use it, should use it. It's just that the most difficult part is differentiating yin and yang. What's going on here? What do they mean? What's the symptom of this today? So, and I want to tell you, you know, like one of my main heroes in Chinese medicine is Wu Jutong. Did you hear about Wu Jutong? Wu Jutong is one of the main figures of the Wen Bing school, the febrile disease school, right? You say this is fire sage school, they like hot herbs. The Wen Bing school like cold herbs. And Wu Jutong is one of my heroes. Why? Because he has a very famous book that uh, he wrote, Wen Bing Tiao Bian, when he was uh, in his 40s. And then when he was in his 70s, a couple of years before he died, he wrote another book that I spoke before in my webinars about. It's called Yi Bing Shu, uh, Yi Bing Shu, which means remedying the practitioner's disease, mm -hmm. not the patient's disease. And this book is is superior. This belongs to the sages. But unfortunately, no one translated it. In my institute, I translated a few chapters of it. And he says, followers of my school, this is in his lifetimes, in the 1800s, followers of my school, of the Wen Bing school, they don't know what they're doing. They don't understand what I say. They don't understand what Ye Tian Shi, his predecessor, said in his work about the Wen Bing. They use cold herbs in indiscriminately and killing the patients. He said, no one knows supplementing life like Zhang Zhongjing and the Shanghai Book. So first he said, everybody has to study the classics, including his own students, which they don't. And today, unfortunately, our education of Chinese medicine is heavily influenced by these people of the cold schools which the founders of this school said they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how Zhang Zhongqi was the best in tonifying, in strengthening life. That's what he said. That's the one being school founder. He is the one that made Yin Xiao San and Sang Zhu Yin. If we ever, did we hear about these formulas? For sure. He made them up. But nobody even re reads what he has to say. It's like we do our own thing in school today. So even, even with the in Chao San that you use for cold, right, heat, heat attacks, there's a whole description of what he means with it. And he said, you have to use them in powder because there's a certain quality to the herbs when you grind them into powder. You can't use them in decoctions. You can't use them in pills. So how come all the factories made to the in Chao San one, in Chao San pills? They don't even care what he says. We have our own thing going on. Wu you know, Jutong said in this book, except from one, two, three kinds of problems, like after labor and delivery, where there's loss of blood, etc., he said, all the diseases are yang deficiency. This is the founder of the Wendy's, but nobody knows about it. Who cares? That was when he was eight, seven, 30 years after he wrote, he wrote the Wen Bing uh, book. So obviously, 30 years later, he didn't get more stupid and more wise. He said, all diseases are yang deficiency except one, two, three. And this is very, very important for us to, to try to figure out. And he said many other things. You know, I can't cover all of them. But really, really great. You see really, really great Chinese medicine physicians. The bottom line was, he said, you find it all in the classics. You know, he 